So basically what I've got going on is this here is the configuration that it's in. You can see the, uh, the solenoid here, where it's at, and it will start out for a brief second in high idle, just like this here, and then um, it'll idle down pretty much instantly, and it will stay there. Um, so I'm almost wondering if this solenoid is wired backwards to where it's always pulling in, I'm not 100% certain. I'm just going to get it fired up for you guys and tell me what you think. And okay, I'm on high idle. That's automatic. Another thing that I'm wondering is do I have my uh, amp gauge wired in backwards? Uh, the oil pressure light, I've got good oil pressure. Um, the oil pressure light, from my understanding, should go to one of the sides of the amp meter. But on either side, this light will stay on all the time. Okay, so on either side, if you guys couldn't hear me right, on either side, I'll put the uh, the power wire of the oil pressure on either side of the amp meter, and it will always stay lit. Um, so this this here, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. This should be the the power side of that uh, oil pressure light and then I'll put it on either one of these sides of the amp meter and it will uh, always stay on so we'll put it on the right one and that light will be on okay and this is the machine off obviously so then we'll put it on the left side and again that oil pressure light is on all the time uh, what does that tell you guys um, and also you guys could kind of see that my um, amp meter was uh, slightly to the left side so um, if you guys could kind of just shoot me some ideas as to what I've got going on there um, I'm really stoked uh, this machine's running so good I got a little bit of a coolant leak um, that I need to figure out it's actually just bypassing in the radiator cap and it's coming down the drain tube um, down inside um, so I don't know if the uh, rubber gasket on the on the radiator cap is just shot or uh, or if I just ought to get a new radiator cap so um, that's a minor issue but that's the only leak that I've got going on is that little bit of a coolant leak there so not too bad um, after a complete uh, com complete rebuild uh, really um, after being all torn down and whatnot so again just kind of give me guys give me an idea of what I've got going on there um, I sure appreciate it thanks a lot